Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. So today we are going to be reviewing some food ladies and gentlemen. I've got two dishes from a home catering service called the Hungry Cat Kitchen here in Mumbai city and uh, they've sent me two dishes to try out so just letting you know I haven't ordered this myself. Um, I've got here the bacon explosion and that comes with some potato wedges now the bacon explosion is actually very special to me because this is my signature dish so about eight or nine years ago when i started headbangers kitchen and my signature dish was something called the bacon bomb which is you know cheese and bacon and bell peppers and other stuff covered in ground pork wrapped in bacon covered in barbecue sauce and cooked to perfection so the hungry cat kitchen does a bacon explosion a much smaller version than what i, I used to do and uh, so yeah she she messaged me and she said you know can you try it and let me know what you think so i am going to do just that and she's also sent me sarso da pork and uh, sarso is basically like mustard greens and spinach and methi and it's normally made with paneer or chicken but this is with pork and this is part of a meal so it comes with a paratha and yeah, you know what? That's been a lot of commentary on the food. Everything looks great and let's dig in. So I'm going to first start with what I always love starting with, the potatoes. Mm. Obviously because they've traveled, they don't stay crunchy. But it's not greasy. It's soft, tender and flavorful. Mm. I mean this potato seasoned well what's not to like now i'm going to try the sarso da pork and i'm and as you guys know i'm not the biggest fan of like indian food ordered from like a, a restaurant because it's always too spicy for me but i'm excited to try this let me find a nice and this is pork on the bone but i found a nice boneless piece here so let's dig in oh yeah Mm. Mm. it's not spicy it's got delicious pork meat the flavors are really good and that's what they specialize in it was I think slow cooked comfort food and definitely this feels like a nice home cooked uh, sarso da pork like yeah I mean this is like a regular lunch this is not like you know some because you know in restaurants they always amp up the fat content like throw in like loads of butter and cream and basically make you want to eat it over and over again like with all that stuff in it but this is good this is really nice hmm and it's a nice thick gravy hmm that's some good stuff but now the main event the bacon explosion so if you look at the cross section there's a block of cheese in it so it's basically cheese stuffed and I'm assuming this is like a cube of cheese put into each one which is a little different from how I, how I used to do it but yeah let me dig in oh and there's some olives and jalapenos as well in there oh I don't know if you can see this Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Some chopped jalapenos and olives in there. So yeah, let me dig in. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. The sweetness from the barbecue sauce the olives add a nice salty hit and the cheese is like almost creamy mmm I'm getting a little hit of the jalapeno all in all I have to say I am definitely impressed um, I have stopped making these bacon bombs and selling them myself it's been maybe five years since I've done it so if anyone is missing that you should definitely order this I definitely give it the horns up but how many horns on five 
I'm going to say four and a half horns on five for this meal. I mean, if I had to give you any negatives, I would just say the potatoes were just potatoes, you know. Um, but yeah, otherwise, four and a half horns on five horns, definitely for all the meals. In fact, I'd probably rate the sarso the pork five out of five, and I'll give the bacon explosion four and a half horns on five. You know, I'm taking that half away because. I'm still the king. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Do smash the like button if you did, and I will see you on the next episode. Cheers and keep eating. Mm. Oh my god, the pork is so tender. It's all cold, but my god. <laughs>